um, this is the end of night one of crocheting my hair well my wig um, <laughs> um, as you guys seen I think I showed you guys I only had two packs of the expression outre Dominican blowout straight hair 350 um, and this is where it got me to so all there's really left is to finish closing up some of these spots to cover up the lace band that's around here that's connecting to the dome cap that is her so far and I will come back to you guys when I have another well the other pack that I'm going to be using and to finish her off and to try her on we are back for day two of crocheting the wig um I have only one loop left from my two packs um, of the expression, what is it called? Dominican Bull Out Straight Hair and 350. I'm just going to finish using this one. And since I couldn't find the pre looped crochet hair, um, I went and got the expression, what is this called? braided hair. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> this pack in 350. Um, the color seems to match pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see. It seems to match. <laughs> It's like this is more like uh I don't know how to say it like a faded reddish orange and this is like actual orange. Um but I think it'll mix fine regardless because I'm using it for the top and to use it to mix in some of the spots if I feel like it's too thin in area. So I feel like they'll still mix. And this is our progress for day two. I think I started around five or almost six o'clock. So, and now it's 11. Um, I'm tired once again. <laughs> so as you can see, we got him pretty far. Let me turn my light down. We got him pretty far into the closure, so. Yep, and you guys can't really see the lines I made, but I made a line here, here, and here to kind of mark out where I want those parts to be. Yeah. So that is it for tonight, and I will see you guys on day three. Alright, it's the end of day three. It's 12-13. Um, I did not film today because I was, first of all, not feeling good at all. And then I was just randomly doing it throughout the day on random spots on my day when I wasn't asleep and stuff. So, yes, yeah, day three, and I got up to right here. I'm finally getting into actually making parts and stuff. It's in two braids, so that's how I'm keeping it at night. And I make sure to kind of when I plait it or braid it, whatever you want to call it, 
to plait it kind of tight so it's pulling the hair like this and making it be flat when it's um in this sitting mode so it's kind of trained to sit flat so that's what I've been doing I've been combing it when I do my days and stuff at the end of the day comb it out put it in the plait and yeah I just have it sitting on my stool which is also an upcoming DIY so stay tuned for that but yeah I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys on day four looking in this camera and I I love the wig but I don't know what I'm doing wrong maybe it's the the hairstyle maybe it's the the baby hairs I don't I don't know how to make this work I'm still I'm still working on it you guys do not go in on me oh, <laughs> this is my first time like doing like straight up color by itself usually i have like a dark color to mix it in with this ain't got no dark color no dark roots no nothing the 350s i got are like two different 350s the expression braiding hair 350 is like the copper orange you're seeing right now which is mostly the top layer of my hair and the what is it called dominican blowout is like a how would you describe it? Like a reddish orange. Like, and it's like a dust, like, not dust, bitch, rust color. Like, Capri, if you guys know that Janet um, collection wig, it's called Capri, and it's like a dusty red. That's what the 350 look like in the Express, no, Altry Dominican Blue out here. So, it's like, at first I thought, okay, I can pull off this like reddish orange color. But then I got home. I thought about the expression here. And I was just like this is fucking copper. Like I can't and would I say I'm happy with it? Um I'm proud of myself for, you know, making my own crochet wig with a four by four part um closure in it um am I in love with the wig I don't know if it's just because of the color or what or if I'm not if I'm 
iffy about the edges or whatever. I don't know what it is, but I'm not in love with this wig at all. <sighs> I just feel like I'm not pulling it off right. Like this isn't, this color isn't for me, which kind of makes me sad, kind of. I'm kind of upset because I wasted like four days putting this wig together just for me to not feel confident in it. Um, maybe I'll, it'll grow on me, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. Um, but I want to still show you guys this video in the wig and stuff. Um, just to show you guys, like, it's not going to always come out bomb. It's not going to always come out the way you expect it to. You? You're not going to always like what you make. But before I got up this morning, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to give up on this hair just yet. I'm not going to get stressed out and just throw it away. Like I have a tendency to do. Get upset and I just end stuff. So I was like, let me get up. I'm going to try one last thing. If straightening it doesn't make me love it, then we can just throw it away. It was only about ten dollars I spent on all of this. I used my flat iron right here. We didn't have this for I don't know how long. It's old, but she still works. She flat irons my hair, my natural hair, good. So yeah, she's good for cheap. Um, I got this from Walmart like years ago. Um, it's the Andes, Andes. I think it's Andes though. Um titanium 450 as in it goes up to 450 and i'm guessing this goes up by 50 because i'm just guessing two 200 250 300 350 400 450 and that's how i'm just guessing it since the max is 450 um so i showed you guys me using the first one which is 200 i'm guessing and the max I used on this hair is 250, which is the second dot. Um, I would advise you guys not to go past 250 <laughs> because when I was showing you guys in the video, I did my whole hair on the one and two setting. Um, and then when I was like still not feeling it, but I was like, it's kind of better, it's kind of better. Um, I tried to cut a fringe into it. Y'all, do not do this. <laughs> like, the, it cut, the cut was good. It's just, I want to go, um, you know, curl it under, bump it, you know, so it's not doing this on the top of my head. And for some reason, my dumb ass, it was getting close to work time, y'all. And I was just like, I don't have time to be going over this over and over again on 200, um, just to curl this bump to get it to go right. So I'm gonna build uh, a dumbass and put it on 300 and I burnt that shit. I'm just so happy it was only, I did it like a section. I didn't do the whole bang that I had cut out. It was only like this side. I'm not gonna show y'all that shit. <laughs> y'all not gonna go in on me if I show y'all it. So we gonna keep that covered. Yeah, I want to update you guys on it and tell you guys that I straightened it and styled it and it looks so much better. I feel so much comfortable. Is that English? I feel so much comfortable. I feel more comfortable <laughs> than I did yesterday. I guess it was a combination of the color and the bigness of it and just it, it's, it was so big you guys. Like it was really big. So, 
I'm so happy with how it looks, you guys. It blends in so much better. Like the lace lays so much flatter on my skin. I'm gonna show you guys once I take this off. It's just like I wanted it to have time to sit. I use Eco Styler, put it on my wig cap right here at the edge. Let that dry for a quick minute and lay this right on top. And I press it down for like, I held down to it for like a minute or two. And y'all, it blended in to my skin so much better than it did yesterday. I just feel so much better. Like even this is a cute hairstyle. Like when I don't feel like laying my edges, the wig edges. So for anybody who wants to know you can flat iron it, just please start in the back so at least if you do burn it nobody's going to see that do not go past the first setting on your flat irons please i beg y'all because girl when i flat iron that bag <laughs> and i pulled that shit down and half of that shit was missing y'all i was dying I will show you guys the hair i hope i can show you guys it This is it. It's so much flatter, y'all. I'm so happy. The hair actually gets really silky, which I'm kind of surprised with. Cause like long hair, it it's weird because I'm just like, what type of witchcraft is this? You flat iron it, which it doesn't say you can flat iron it, but you can, and it gets like really silky. And it, yeah, guys, this is. This is such a cute style right here. I'm sorry, I keep talking about cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, see, this is the hair now. And you guys, it has so much movement. And I'm going to now take this off because I got to hurry up and start editing this. And my, uh, and my camera keeps dying. So, yeah. But this is her. Girl, let me make sure I'm covering it. Y'all not going to go in on me. Um... <laughs> okay, let me fix this. But yeah, this is her. Let me take this from behind my ear. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. See, and look how good the lace looks, you guys. Like, look at that. I love it. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I'm going to go now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have made a crochet or have you made a wig that you just hated. And if you threw it away or if you tried to fix it. And if it worked, just let me know in general if you guys have made a wig and just no, Just throw it away. <laughs> and how you like Brave. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Oh, and I'll also put down below where I got the Dominican blowout hair because I bought that online. I put that down below for you guys so you guys can get it also. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, she's so boring. She's so pretty. <laughs> Jump in the coop, they dip on top of the roof Fixing on bitches as hard as I can Eating halal, driving the land So that bitch, I'm sorry though Got my phones like mine